In this video, I'm going to show you how to extract natural pure juice directly from the stem of the banana tree. In my previous video, I've shown you how to cut the banana stem and then blend it to get the juice. Here, we're going to get it, get the natural juice that oozes out from the stem. So after harvesting the fruit, you must clean up the stem like this by stripping off all the dry layers. I'm sorry, my pet goose or oh, is making so much noise. They're both very annoyed that we are not allowing them into the garden here. Next, we chop off the upper part where there are a lot of leaves. We don't need this. Oh, this looks like a real uh, juicy tree. Next, we measure one foot from the ground and then chop off the stem and leave only one foot high of stem okay. okay so this is how after chopping off left one foot okay. of the stem still intact in the ground so uh, we must make sure when we are digging out we uh, the knife is really clean and also our hands must be clean because this little hollow we are going to make here will become like a container to gather the juice. See, this is how you have to do it. Don't uh, cut through the don't cut through the stem. You just have to dig out around the sides. In fact, uh, you have to the knife has to be sharp. Uh, you have to scrape it out. Scrape it out. Uh, we want uh, it to be about 6 inches deep. So the bigger, the broader, the bigger the hole, the, you may be able to get more juice filling up. So here we are, a cylindrical container. And then we clean a banana leaf and uh, we're going to keep it covered. We're going to cover it so that it will remain cool. Mm, for cooling purpose, we tie tie the banana leaf. If necessary, we add uh, some more. Uh, we add extra leaves here. Okay, make sure it's tight so nothing can get in. No insects or ants. You know, we cover it properly. This it must use a leaf, is it? Mm. it gives a cooling. Okay. We put another layer to secure it further. Okay, and uh, now you see nicely tied up, packaged like you know. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to use a plastic bag to keep the leaf uh, covered and fresh, and uh, also to keep it dry from rainwater and also uh, moisture from the dew. Yeah, of course, the rest uh, that we chopped off earlier, we'll use it for cooking. So the next day at 8 a.m., I'm going to, let's see whether there is any accumulation of uh, juice. We're going to see how much we've got. Okay, gently remove. So we're going to use it back again. And let's look at it. Take a look. Okay. Not so oh, there you go. Wow. Mm. Wow. It's, it's, it's full. The juice is so clear and clean. You know? It's so full. This is natural banana stem juice. I think we can get about three glasses of this juice. Okay, let's, let's look how crystal clear it is. Okay, it doesn't need to be strained. There's no deposits, nothing there. It is good. It is good. It is good.
it has got an earthy uh, fresh mountain water taste and, and you know the moment I'm drinking it can feel the coolness so this juice is naturally produced uh, from the ground by the banana stem therefore it contains the minerals from the ground so it is so good for our health like it contains minerals like potassium calcium zinc magnesium iron copper and many other types that is necessary for our well-being it contains vitamin b6 just like the fruit and helps in the production of uh, hemoglobin and insulin those suffering from kidney stones and gallbladder stones this is a recommended uh, remedy so now I'm going to close it up and I can collect some more for another two days. So for those who have uh, banana trees in your house, don't waste the stem. Try this method. Uh, enjoy the juice. It is nature's natural medicine for us.